<laughs> Since my daughter already said hello, let's start off our morning with some praise and worship to the Lord. Our song this morning was called Walk the Bible Way, and today we're going to talk about just how important it is to walk with God. The person we're going to be talking about today from our Bible study was named Enoch. Now, Enoch was known for his walk with God. Go ahead and turn in your Bible. Again, I can't stress how important it is to have your Bible today. So go get your Bible, and we're going to go ahead and read in Genesis chapter 5, and we're going to be reading verses 22 through 24, all right? And it says here in the Bible, And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 360 and 5 years. That's crazy. That is a lot of years. Verse 24, And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Now, one thing we're all familiar with, either we've seen a dead bug or a grandparents passed away or maybe a family pet or maybe a family pet of a friend. Most of us know what death looks like, but Enoch, something very special about Enoch is that he never died. In fact, in Hebrews 11, he is mentioned with the heroes of faith. And in verse five, it says, by faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. That's an amazing testimony. Now, Enoch was known back in Genesis for walking with God. And later in Hebrews, his testimony was that he pleased God. And because of that, he never saw death. God translated him or just took him, as it says in Genesis, right? Now, we, like I said, we know what death, most of us have seen some sort of death. Like I said, it could be a dead bug, it could be a family member, it could have been a pet. Whatever that looks like, Enoch, his relationship was so pleasing to God. And it was so special to God. And his walk with God was so precious that God just took him. So here's a picture of what Enoch might have looked like. I printed this off because I think the story of Enoch is really unique. There aren't very many verses in the Bible talking about it. But as we can tell... His relationship with God was very special. He is only one of two people that were mentioned in the Bible as being taken by God. That's right. Enoch is one of two people who are mentioned in scripture as being taken to be with the Lord. And the other one is named Elijah. Maybe you've heard that story. Maybe we'll be talking about that story soon. All right. Now, Enoch walked with God and his relationship was special with God. So God took him. But a lot of us, we're going to experience a natural death and that can be scary or uncomfortable sometimes. That's why it's so important to talk about what comes after death. Where will we spend eternity? It's so important to have salvation, that free gift of salvation that we talked about at Easter and accepting Jesus in our hearts so we can spend eternity with Jesus Christ. Just like we should, Enoch really focused on his walk with God. He wanted to have a good relationship with the Lord. Now let's look at a couple of verses from the Bible that talk about what our relationship with the Lord should look like. Colossians chapter two, verse six says, as ye have therefore received Christ Jesus, the Lord, so walk ye in him. In John chapter 10, verse 27, the Bible says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Now our walk with God is so important. We've already talked about that. Now what does walking with God mean? 
Well, it starts off very simply by reading your Bible, which should be daily, and praying. The Bible is how God talks to us, and praying is how we talk to God. Here's your challenge for the week. Ask yourself, how can I be more like Enoch? All right? Now, Enoch had a special walk with the Lord, which means he was talking with God, and his relationship with God was good. So what can we do to make our relationship better with the Lord? We want our relationship to grow. So I'll tell you how. Let's start off with doing a little more Bible reading. What can you do to make that happen in your life? Maybe put your Bible right beside your bed so when you wake up, you don't forget when it's not just getting dust on a shelf. All right, so pick up your Bible and every morning read. Some of my favorite verses come from Ephesians. Great verses for Christians. All right, also praying because when we pray and then read our Bible, and pray and read our Bible. We have that relationship just like you would if you were talking to your mom or dad or a friend. Every time that you converse, that's a relationship builder. And it's the same way with God. When we talk to God, when we pray to God, and then we read his Bible for the answers, that's how we build a relationship. And our walk with God is based on that relationship. Here's an example for you. Our walk with God is kind of like my walk with my daughter, Katie. When we come to a difficult area in the path or an obstacle that she needs to go around, I can lead and guide her away from it. And we should follow God in that same way. Just let him lead and guide. And as you can see here, I was able to move her away from something that could potentially have been dangerous. All right, for those of you who live here in Lincoln, Nebraska, I have a fun challenge for you. Now, what I want you to do is find your Bible, put it on a clean surface, your parents will appreciate that, take a picture and have your parents send it to me at 402-904-1304 and your name will be put into a drawing to win. Karen, show them what they could win. A bag of Takis! Right, Karen? And these are the Fuego. Everyone likes Takis. Karen, you like Takis, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so have your parents send me that picture. Again, it's 402-904-1304, and you could win these Takis. All right, you guys have a great day. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!